get the heavyweights in here. And when the heavyweights come into the cage, there's nowhere to run, Johnny. Nowhere to run when you're six foot five, two thirty-two, like this Tom Black from Lehigh fighting out of Team Samurai X, going up one tough kid in E Tuiaki. Ah, you got a guy from Team Samurai X that you know he's going to be well prepared coming here. But E showed us last week he knows what's up. You see right here, strike or submit. submit. Somebody going to strike or submit. Heavyweight no hold bar. Check it out. Johnny Ritchie, tonight at the show, the Striker Submit guys are here with Josh Berkman. They're their official sponsors of Josh Berkman. And you remember Josh started way back in the day, just like these guys. <laughs> First time fighter, nervous as heck walking out there. This guy looks like almost like he's walking to his uh, execution or something. <laughs> well, Mike, you know, he's walking inside the cage, and that's something we got to let the people know. This isn't a finals event. This is the weekly show. We've got the cage every single match, Mike, most of the time now. Yeah, how cool is that? And, awesome. Uh, Tom Black, remember a couple rounds ago, Team Samurai X was the up-and-coming team or gym of of this show well they're back and tom the disturbed black is part of that crew uh my brother mainly then just to be a part of team samurai and see what i can do as a person uh right now i'm just a street fighter we're trying to work on the technique on boxing and muay thai and all that other stuff but i still got a ways to go because all the talent we got at the dojo we've got a lot of really good guys there and we we got every ground covered so that's why i want to have the edge tonight Johnny, you remember when there used to be a traditional karate school, whether you did grappling or you did stand-up? Sure. All the gyms now are within their own walls are starting to be more diverse. They're bringing in boxing coaches. They're bringing in grappling coaches to give their, their uh, students a much broader view of how to, how, to, how to defend yourself and how to fight. But one of those guys that's not doing any kind of real formal training right now is this Ogre 6, E2 Yaki. He's just a physical kid, Mike. He's tough. He's powerful. Plays football down at Southern Utah University. You see the shirt right there? He's just here to represent. Uh, last time I stepped in the ring, I fought uh, Robert Savala, threw a few lucky punches and it connected, so hope that goes the same today. Uh, it'll be first time experience for me, so we'll see. The last week was first time experience, so new thing every week, so. I like to kick and scratch and you know, all the fun stuff. Oh, I woke up this morning and I jumped on fight night round two and I won, so it's a good omen for my corner. Oh, Johnny and Richie, you know, we've had, we've heard had guys in the past that have trained by doing uh, Xbox and stuff. It hasn't worked out so well for them. But I got a funny feeling this kid's going to do a little better than some of those guys have. Well, we saw E fight last week, Mike, and I tell you, he can throw the leather. He can, not, he can knock you out, that's yeah, for sure. He's given up a big, big reach advantage here, though. Uh, you mentioned he doesn't really cross-train or train, for that matter, at all. He does do a little bit of boxing. As you can see right there, he's got some nice straight hands and uh, power punches. Nice work. Oh, oh baby, there, there's what we were talking about power punch that right hand connected and wow. my goodness team samurai x uh, just got knocked down <laughs> he got knocked down but you see right there he's doing a pretty good job of keeping e in his guard which is probably a good thing to do keep this kid close to you don't let him uh, step back and drop those bombs because i think uh old disturbed's face is going to be a little black and blue after this one mike well, disturbed is a big big kid you see here you see here uh he is trying to do a shoulder lock from within the guard you see the inexperience there he think yeah, i think he needs to get back up on his feet where those big bombs are going to land and, and where he's more comfortable. <laughs> well, his corner after watching Fight Night, Mike, should tell him to get his butt back up on his feet because that's where he's going to win this thing, Mike. I think that's where uh, e, he's just got that power. He's got that puncher's power like Mike Tyson. He's just yeah, compact but, you know, and physical and bang. On paper, though, you would you would venture to say he'd rather be on the ground because yeah. he's given up such a reach advantage here. Uh, but he looks like he's relatively comfortable in the guard there. It looks like he might be looking at getting uh -oh, a right title here. choke here. Oh, oh. Got to watch yourself. Yeah, he disturbed. Looks like he's, he's training with Sam Ryan. X. Looks like he's got some kind of skill. He's keeping him in his guard. Now he's looking for that nice triangle. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to get it because E it may be go. just a little bit too strong. Well, he just put, oh, oh he just had it. He almost, got it? almost had that foot in the, the crook of his knee. Didn't quite get it, but all the while, E. Tuiaki is landing punches and almost instinctively he's pressed his opponent up against the, the cage here. Uh, and I guess I, I can only assume he's not doing this because he practiced doing this, but he just <laughs> out of instinct and, and doing the right thing. Well, Mike, how do you beat a submission fighter? Uh, you just strike. Him, right? You yeah. just punch him and you pound him, and there he goes, right there. And Lonnie Foster said, we've seen enough of that beating already. <laughs> Ituyaki, uh, he'll beat you standing up, and it looks like he'll pound you wow. on the ground as well. <laughs> yeah, he's all the disturbed took a hammering right there, Mike. You can see, I don't know how happy he is about the whole deal, but uh, it's good to see that guy come in here, first-time fighter. Step up and fight a kid like Ituyaki. Yeah, you bet it. You see here in Crush Combat Cam, brought to you by Mount High Motorsports. That big right hand really, wow. for all intents and purposes, ended the fight. It was just a matter of time after 
of that. And uh, Lonnie, referee Lonnie Foster did let this uh, uh, disturbed kid work on some submission to attempt to try to get that uh, triangle choke on, but it just wasn't going to happen. That wasn't good enough, Mike. It wasn't enough to beat Ituiaki. He lands the big shots. We've seen it uh, time and time again. I think this kid, Mike, has got something to say in this uh, heavyweight competition right now. Uh, definitely got more than just something to say. He says it with uh, an exclamation point on the end of it. Ituiaki, boy, he's risen to the top of the heavyweight division. This post-fight interview sponsored by our friends at Mountain High Motorsports. Tom, it's obvious you're really not happy about what happened out there. Tell me, tell the folks at home a little bit about what you're feeling right now. He hits hard, that's for damn sure. <laughs> he definitely does that. And, you know, you were working on that triangle, and it was so close, but he just he was punching his way through it. Yeah, he's got a lot of power in him. I'll give him that. How do you feel about the stoppage? you think the stoppage is okay? I don't know. It depends on how my face looks. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> it looks pretty bad, man. You know what? But when you walked in, it looked kind of bad. I got No, I'm just kidding. You're a big guy, and, and, and honestly, that was a tough, just one of those tough, tough fights. Are you going to come back after that performance, after that fight, are you going to come back and fight again? Yeah, I got a lot more to work on, but yeah, I'll be back. Well, you're training with the right guys over there. This Team Samurai X will get you going if anybody will. You know, tonight you were good, but just not good enough. I hope we, come see, we see you come back and do it again. Yeah, you'll see me. This post-fight interview is sponsored by Beehive Bell Bonds because sometimes bad things happen to good people. Hey, man, you get in here second week in a row, you come in here and you drop some big bombs. That guy, he was that far from having that submission, but you punched your way through it, and that's how you beat a submission fighter. How do you feel about the fight, and what can we expect out of E2 Iaki in the future? Oh man, I just feel lucky that I got a few punches in there, so. You feel lucky? That's what you said. I interviewed him before the fight. He goes, last week I just got real lucky. And this week, you might see some scratching and some hair pulling. And maybe, and maybe even some kicking, but maybe. <laughs> man, this guy's full of it. I tell you, you're a tough kid. Are you going to continue to fight in this thing until we get to the Delta Center? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try. I have to go back to school soon, but I'll be in it. So if school doesn't hold this guy back, we might see him in this thing in the Delta Center. E, congratulations, man. You did it. School first. Go to school. I like that. The big guy giving the little kids a message, stay in school. But Johnny Ritchie, that guy could do some damage in the heavyweight division. Man, he looked like he didn't even fight. I mean, he looked like he just barely walked in the ring, but he fought it. That kid's a tough kid. That Tom Black, he almost had the submission. He punched through it. He gets the victory. Congratulations, E. Berkman was telling me that E was his fullback in college. And, you know, Josh broke some national yeah. records from rushing in college. And you need a good fullback. You can see how. Exactly. That kid's a tank. And, Mike, I, I hope he comes back. I hope he finishes school. But I hope he comes back and fights for us again. I hope he sticks around because I want to follow that guy to the Delta Center. We got more deals with combat. Don't go.